Yeah. Mm-hmm. See, normally the bass is walking. I know, but I can't find the chords to go with. Yeah. 
try to find that walk down. I think I'll try to spread it.
I hear swing. And you and you run the middle of you
we used to try to come up with new stuff. Yeah. You do that. <laughs>
EMD that this one is. I, I, I remember it. I can jump in, but I can't start it. You, know, you do say the side of the street, I'll do the dark side of the alley. <laughs> I said, well, that's true, but I've played it a lot since then, too. So I said, I'll make arrangements, but then it happens to be to go back to you, but you don't give me any money for it. <laughs> well, that was a pretty good deal. I'll pay you, you only had what, it. He only had $40 in the first place, wasn't it? 60 paid 60, 60, paid 60 yeah. for it. Yeah. 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 That's a good story. Yeah. Martin would pay you top dollar for that guitar, probably. He probably would. It's, it's worth the money now. I wouldn't take anything for it. I'll, I'll keep it till I die, I'm sure. Everybody, a lot of people ask me, what's Master now? What they, what they do with Master's fiddle? Yeah, I was just going to say that. They just got it. They just got it. They just, just got it. Never be played again. Probably not. Right. No. I, don't I was think thinking while I go, boy, Master would be in hog heaven tonight. Oh, he would, he would be he would grinning. Like this. Yeah, he would. He'd have his eyes closed the whole He'd time. He'd be grinning from ear to ear. Yeah. His fiddle stuck there and be like this. He'd be jamming with you. Oh, he'd absolutely. He'd be up right up your face. Be, <laughs> and he'd be trying to hear your notes and he'd be trying to play the harmony. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Of course, I'm enjoying it too, but he really wouldn't. It's a treat for me, I'll tell you. It's, uh, it's a treat for me to sit here. Huh? Yeah, Pruitt missed something, didn't he?
Okay.
Yeah. 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 Depend on your music. To yeah, you can just play right. play right. Right. Yeah, you don't have well, to. She, when, she, it, when you have to depend you on it, it's not a bit, fun play for pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> Some people say playing for a living, but I this say playing for a yeah. Hey, Carol, and how long? Sue had a band for like seven or eight years. Yeah, eight years. That, that, is, not that, that was just awesome. Well, like you, it had to be. We ought to give them a CD or yeah, two. Yeah, definitely. I'm we'll give you some CDs, CDs that, from Sue's band. Good. I mean, great banjo player. Yeah. Well, you, Billy Gilmore you know, played with her. Do you know Billy? David Cabbage? David Cabbage? Did he play with that? Uh, is he from South Florida? No. No, but he lived down. He lived down that way uh, in the winter times. So Billy, did Billy play banjo with your band? Billy, Billy play, played guitar, mandolin. Yeah. Um, sometimes he played the banjo with us, but he lived down South Florida, didn't he? Well, he? Yeah, but he's in North Carolina for well. No. Then he moved. He, he moved up north to play with some band, and then he came back. I mean, yeah, that was. He didn't come back. Yes. <laughs> we well, moved up north he went, to play with back. us. Well, that was a couple years ago, you mean? Yeah. Yeah, that's what he yeah, did. He, he went to Pennsylvania to play with Avery Project. Project. That was the name of it. And then, um... Did y'all stay pretty busy? Yeah, we, for a while there, we were doing, like, 900 gigs a year. They played a lot in Europe? Yeah. Australia? Was it worth it? Uh -huh. Was it worth it? Yeah. yeah. But the... the she's the Rome Brothers. We're starting a band with, with the Rome Brothers and Sue. You're talking about Chris people. and Lauren. Yeah. 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 So that's that's that's, that's, a, that's a a happening stage. We're trying to book some shows to so in California. Yeah. It's so hard right now. If they want to come here, we're we'll trying to. I think we, I'm going to go talk to Bob Patterson tomorrow about the end of fest. You know, Bob. Yeah. You know what? I've, I've talked to Bob for years. He wouldn't talk to me. Really? I, I, I really don't. He had a wish for five dollars. Yeah. And then he had a wish. 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 I've always said, I've always said, if you can't, you're 
Yeah, yeah. Dan and I used to do yeah, that. Really? We just do it from the album. I don't think I've ever played that with anybody. Really? I don't think anybody's ever known. No worries. If you're good enough, you ought to be able to do it. I think I'm going to move here. Can I move here? Come here. Stay a while. Dan's going to move here. Come 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 you gotta build, you gotta work it. Uh, I love the variety, the, the number, like the, all the, the whole spectrum of yeah. songs. Well, that, you you, know, you get really any gigs. Cool. That's really cool. I, you know what, I get paid. There's not, as far as price. I bet you, uh, they wouldn't pay enough to go to This is a Wolf's Den. It's an old uh, Jimmy Rogers well, team. Well, you ought to come to the festival. I hate to know. 